six-year-old daughter is a budding artist with a passion for illustrations. Every Sunday morning, she couldn't wait to dive into her art class where her brushes and canvases were her best friends. With each picture she drew, she invited us into a vibrant, imaginative world. She loved her art classes, but there was one problem. She could only take them one hour per week. She had to wait for her next class to discuss her work with her teachers, and by then, they had moved on to the next assignment. She didn't get much chance to try new things or explore ideas outside her classroom. As parents, we really wanted to help, but we were too caught up in other tasks. That's just another way to say, we actually don't know art. <laughs> but then we introduced artificial intelligence into a world of brushes and colors, and we witnessed something extraordinary. The AI tool she used was a perfect mentor for her. It started providing tailored feedback on our artwork suggested subtle shifts in shades and textures, and even demonstrated how her drawings might appear in different styles. It was like giving her a magic wand that could transform her art into countless ways. This interaction with AI ignited a spark in her that went beyond her traditional classes. She started experimenting with bold combinations, playing with patterns she had never tried before. Her art became a fusion of her original creativity and the expansive possibilities that AI introduced. Now, machines have been smart for a long time, but last year they got really interesting. It wasn't just about making funny cat pictures or helping my daughter with her art classes. The human-like conversations, the reasoning capabilities, elevated AI to work like executive assistants. I know this because I run an AI startup. My company develops responsible AI capabilities and makes them accessible to individuals and enterprises to augment their work. Like many founders, I'm always in a race against time. I often find myself switching between talking to customers, recruiting talent, designing the product, writing code, each task requires focused time to achieve something meaningful. And guess what? Baldness isn't in my family thread. <laughs> if you dig deeper and take software engineering, for example, it has its creative parts, like taking user problems and turning that into product features, using those product features into engineering requirements, and taking those requirements and building and coming up with a product to bring it to life. But there are other subtasks like debugging issues in the code, although super fun, can be extremely time consuming. Some bugs require scanning through multiple logs, talking to engineers and other stakeholders, setting up an environment to replay what went wrong. Sometimes it feels like you're stuck in a maze with no exit and could take days to eventually fix the problem. But with AI as my co-pilot, I can swiftly narrow down the problem, understand what went wrong, and get suggestions on how to fix it. Tasks that once took days can now be completed in a matter of minutes, freeing up loads of time for creativity and innovation. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. It's easier for someone like me from the tech industry to come and talk about how cool it is to have AI as my co-pilot. Make no mistake. I fully acknowledge the potential dangers of AI. Navigating this space certainly brings its challenges. Jobs are rapidly evolving, and the dangers of deep fake and fake news are increasing. In fact, it just takes minutes for someone to take my headshot and make them speak in any language. These are real dangers that must be responsibly addressed. But the sensationalism surrounding AI is equally problematic. It is incredibly harder to address real problems when much of the conversation revolves around AI losing out of control and harming us. In fact, the biggest challenge that we face is the tech gap. It's the divide between people who use AI to boost their work and those who doubt it and fall behind. 
The changes that AI brings are amazing and messy in equal measure. But we must be able to evaluate them objectively. And when we do that, we might realize we've seen this kind of revolution before. Let's take a step back to the mid-90s for a moment. Remember the era of dial-up internet and bulky cell phones that look like bricks? Back then, they called the internet the information superhighway. It all kind of looks funny now, but AOL, compact discs, Netscape, and the hamster dance were all part of the digital revolution. That revolution reshaped our world. And much like today, it was a period of significant transformation. Jobs transformed. Industry shifted. Many things that we took for granted went away. And many things that we now take for granted took their place. But we adapted. We innovated. And in the end, we thrived. It's a testament to our resilience. A reminder that humanity's essence lies not just in enduring change, but driving it. So how do we take control of this AI transformation? We need to identify where AI can augment us versus take tasks off our plate. Start by sorting out your tasks. List everything. The tasks that you love, the ones that feels like a chore, and those you wish you had some help with. Take my email, for example. Over 18 years, I racked up more than 50,000 unread messages. That's right, I was lazy. <laughs> and sure, I could have spent days sorting each one or used basic features to delete them in bulk. But really, I just wanted to tell someone in plain language which ones to keep, which ones to review, and the ones to get rid of. So I told an AI tool exactly that in simple words. And it cleaned up my inbox, keeping the most important stuff and getting rid of the rest. Now it's your turn to find your own email mountain. Think of a task that is eating up your time where AI could help you handle way more efficiently. And then there are tasks where we really need some help to make crucial decisions. When I incorporated my company, I had to sign a ton of documents with limited time to grasp every detail. With an AI agent by my side, I was able to get summaries of key clauses, ask specific questions about the documents, understand legal call-outs, and understand my own responsibilities. And that helped me take informed decisions and prepared me to focus on the big picture. These are examples where we can truly benefit from embracing change. And when we do that, we are gifted with something priceless, time. And with that time, we can dedicate ourselves to growth in areas that remain uniquely human, where the human spirit shines the brightest. This includes nurturing our emotional intelligence, sparking our creative thinking, learning new skills, or spending more time with loved ones. Thanks to AI, my daughter can continue to explore the possibilities of our art. And for me, I'm already regaining those invaluable 30 minutes each evening to play with my kids. Moments that are the highlights of my day. We are in an era where machines are not just learning. They are evolving to be smarter than us. And our greatest opportunity lies in harmonizing our growth with theirs and use it to our advantage. This is our chance to learn in tandem with these digital minds, to pivot to something even more fulfilling. And it's something that will truly benefit all of us when we dive into it together.